In this example, we're told to simplify the trig expression into a single trig function with no fractions. And we've done this before with some Pythagorean examples. In this one, I'll bet you can tell we're going to need even and odd identities because if you look closely, we've got negative signs inside the argument there. These are negative angles. So we're going to need to use our even odd identities. And the order that you do stuff in, I don't think it really matters. I tend to do even odd identities first because as soon as I see the negative sign, that's a big clue to me that I'm going to need even odd identities. So let's rewrite this. Now cosine of negative psi is just equal to cosine of psi, right? Remember, cosine is an even function. And sine of negative psi is equal to negative sine of psi because that is an odd function. So if I take those two substitutions and put them in here, this is what I get. I get cosine of psi divided by tangent of psi minus, well, minus negative sine of psi, right? Negative sine of psi is what this sine of negative psi thing was up here, okay? So if I simplify a little more, I could turn those negatives into a positive, but where I really want to go next is that tangent function. I know that tangent of psi is equal to sine of psi over cosine of psi, right? That is the quotient identity. So let's use that one also. Let's call this cosine of psi all divided by sine of psi over cosine psi. Okay, so that's looking a little ugly now. But over here, at least, it's just a nice, simple plus sine psi. And now, I want to simplify that fraction on the left. I'm glad it's all sines and cosines. That's good. But I don't like that it's a fraction within a fraction. And the way I'm going to simplify that is by multiplying top and bottom by cosine. Now, if you, if you remember why we're doing cosine here, it's because I want to cancel out that denominator on the bottom of this fraction. And... What I'm talking about here, if, if you're looking, right, cosine is going to cross out with that cosine. That's going to be very nice. What we get on the top is just cosine squared. What we get on the bottom is simply the sine function. And here's my simplified form. I'm not done yet. But this is looking better. And what I can do to add fractions together, remember, is multiply to get a common denominator. We're going to use a crazy one over here. And if you simplify that, we get... A single fraction, right, sine psi is the denominator, and on the top you have cosine squared plus sine squared, with, which if you remember your Pythagorean identity, sine squared plus cosine squared is one. Remember Santa Claus? Santa, how do we spell Santa? Santa! Santa Claus, there we go. So on this one, now I simplify the top to just the number one, divided by sine Sorry, and if you got this far, you're thinking, great, I am done. But remember what it wanted. It wanted no fractions in this problem. So we need to do one more simplification and call this the cosecant of psi. And I spelled cosecant wrong. This is cosecant of psi. And that is your simplified answer. That's the reciprocal identity right there. Okay.